there are some plug-related settings available. Bring up Blender's preferences, locate Mesh Machine in the Add-ons tab, and switch to the Plugs tab. Plug names will always lead with a three-digit number, which is used to sort them. This sorting can be reversed to display the newest plugs first. Remember to reload the libraries for the new sorting to take effect. You also have some control over the size of library thumbnails. And you can change the size of plug thumbnails in the libraries as well. By default, the libraries display the amount of plugs they contain. You can turn this off, if you want. You can display the name of the currently active plug and you can also display plug names in the libraries themselves. By default, Mesh Machine will display plugs brought into the scene, in X-Ray. This is so, subsurface features of a plug, are properly previewed, before a plug is embedded in your model. You can disable this behavior. Note however that plug handles and plug empties will always be X-rayed. There's experimental support for fading wires. It's turned off by default, but can be very convenient for evaluating topology and shading at the same time, without having to toggle wire display on and off. I've observed a few crashes, likely related to this feature, so use at your own risk for now. If you create your own plugs and intend to distribute them, you can add a line of text for attribution. This will be associated with every plug you create and can be checked using the Validate Plug tool.